welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for October the 20th, 2020. I'm Mom. And at the moment I'm all alone because I haven't gone over to Discord yet. Let's see if Ed's awake. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, Mom. How are you today? Oh, I am... Yeah. Um... <laughs> I am... Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't sound yeah. optimistic. Uh, uh, yay! Yay! I have coffee. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, somehow I die. My requirements for the day are met. I have coffee. So, hey, I, so cool. I, I checked my tune this morning. I was looking at something and realized all of my skills needed to be respect. Okay, no problem. All of my traits were gone. It was just completely clear. Yes, out. a respec always clears your traits. No, it cleared it before I hit the respec. Something happened. Oops. Uh, yeah, w w whatever. Uh, Mom, there are so many oopses and ancient <laughs> and blats. Um, I was a bad guy on tweet this morning. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh,. Cryptic is so pleased that they have decided uh, or accidentally will um, put the um, new ship in game tomorrow instead of Thursday. What? And they were so excited uh, to uh, offer a 25% discount rather than the usual 20 Um Obviously, they are not sure that their thing is really attractive. <laughs> yeah, I don't think and, one day is going to make a difference as to whether it's attractive. Yeah, but um, discount tweaking... Um, there's only one reason why you go to lower discount, to a higher discount, you expect... Uh, not really good to say it's some form. That's, that's really interesting because it's one of the ships, first ships in a while since a Legendary Pack came out that I'm interested in. <laughs> yeah, um, it's um, uh, tier 6 threat is good for beam overload ships. Uh, yeah. too, and of course, it uh, looks no complaints at all. And uh, <coughs> oh, cost, uh, costumes, I know yeah. people who buy it for costumes. Oh, yeah. However, um, I, uh, you find, uh, I gave them, um, gave them a, a, a response, uh, that, that called for, I was looking to the cryptic web, and so I got, uh, gave them that response in Twitter to their ship announcement. <laughs> you find it in personal chat. I am going there right now. screenshot from the website. Yes. <laughs> I could not resist. That's very good. Very nice, Ed. Very nice. Um, I, I really... Uh, I would really uh, like to uh, give them such things in the... Yay, you made it! And actually, I'm quite... Um, though I'm definitely uh, not unhappy about T6X, definitely not. Uh, now the option to buy the, uh, the upgrade tokens for from the Phoenix uh, store is gone. Do you, did you really want to make us a decision within a week? Okay, um, but um, yes. <laughs> no, I'm... I'm surprised. Oh, I'm going to take advantage of it. the extra 25% off, or the 25% off is definitely nice, but, you know, this is a ship I want. And I haven't heard yeah. many people who haven't wanted it. The last bundle was uh, pretty to look at, but uh, not really where I want to go. Yeah, um, uh, uh, I have, uh, the ship, uh, the ship is, is definitely a good ship, yes. Yeah, totally. That, that is for, um, that is, of course. And speaking of other good ships, I um, dum, 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 I have to uh, 
copy a trailer dot cost today um my um duck shell the guy in the black uh mm -hmm. black suit and the extremely black ship got his new got his new cover reputation to a six uh -huh. that is congratulations he uh he got uh, uh switch to the fleet version of her of the carrier he's flying mm -hmm. and applied uh, applied a t6x yeah very nice I so have some of course very nice <laughs> and um now it's um yeah change to fleet ship means um uh use the screenshot to uh, copy the load uh the, the, yes. the trays yes. that has been tested and has been found well well <laughs> when i was respecking i'd written down everything but the coffee hadn't hit so at some point i'm gonna have to go back and respec my respec because I kind of messed it up just a little bit but it'll work e just not yeah. quite what it was <clears throat> Also, uh, this is a kind of a screenshot day a bit for, um, I will, uh, I have decided uh, to uh, chip in another edition of my fashion space. <laughs> it's uh, Alien of the Month, dash, Mr. October. Mr. Um, October, oh great. <laughs> um, that will be, um, that will be the alien I shot the screenshot. So. If you, uh, if you, uh, when you look for it, you will see all the sliders sooner or later in uh, fashion space way. Okay. It is everything documented and stuff. And um, uh, another uh, fun thing. I love making fun things so much. <laughs> okay. And now it's time to set up the trays because I really want to have this done. Otherwise, it would continuously knock into my uh, onto my uh, skull. <laughs> you, you have not <laughs> and, and the like. Um, <laughs> another thing. Um, oops. Yep. Um, yeah. COVID is um, knows no. Um, no, no, no safe group, so to say. Mm -hmm. Got uh, today. My uh, Kara uh, informed me that one of her colleagues um, oh. actually is now uh, in. Yeah, got, wow. got it. Hopefully, okay. Uh, she herself uh, was uh, on. Um, she is a part timer. Uh, mm -hmm. A part timer that way. Um, either she does, uh, she uh, she does uh, standard uh, service as everybody else, or she 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 just uh, is not there uh, on so it's not vacation. It's just okay. Part time of the way, two full weeks, two weeks away, two full weeks, two weeks away. Wow, or so. that's an interesting one. And um, yeah, so she was not uh, there while uh, while it did. But um, we, um, she, um, well, she's now going to um, arrange today that the the de facto I live in quarantine, but mm -hmm. not wearing a mask while the carers are there. Uh, there. Ooh. And um, it's uh, the carers always wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. And now okay. we uh, decide. I arranged that the that she uh, get, buys two uh, reusable masks, mm -hmm. uh, washable. Yes. And uh, so uh, when I hear the doorbell, put mask on, go to the door or whatever. And when everything is done, I can put it off. And once a week, it goes into the laundry, mm -hmm. and the other mask gets into service. Yeah. And that, I think, is... Um, that makes sense, Ed. I mean, I don't want your health getting affected by this. We need you too is, much. We love you too uh, much. Well, speaking of health, now I know it was not a nerve. Uh, oh. my my pain in the butt. Yeah. No, uh, it was kind of um, 
today, uh, Bakara and I, well, <laughs> we have been laughing as hell. Um, I decided, so we decided uh, that I cre uh, have a butt selfie. <laughs> the, um... <laughs> I need to rename today's video to butt selfie. Okay. Um, um, okay, there, there is nothing you... Uh, that is um, gross or the like, but um, we now know where it came. And oh. uh, uh, so um, you will be one of the rare people who will receive a butt <laughs> selfie. <laughs> um, I have to transfer it from the okay. mobile to the screen. <laughs> yeah, it's. Um, well, actually, my husband um, and I think Delicia and I, have, we've all been chatting about teledocs here, which I assume there's something equivalent there, where basically, rather than going to see the doctor in person, you, for the most part, do the preliminaries over the phone and sometimes do the entire uh, diagnosis over the phone. Good morning, BTD fighter. So um, his uh, financial guy suggested that he purchase stock in a company called Teladoc, just as this was starting out. And I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. And the company has just skyrocketed. And it seems to be more and more people are using the call in, take pictures, everything over the phone versus going to the doctor. Um, there are plenty uh, yeah, uh, samples that the damn common cold. Um, uh, well, OK. Um, and, and several other stuff where it's uh, more or less, uh, yeah, a formal thing. Uh, so patient and doctor both know what how this uh, how it uh, goes, and um, yeah. So if everything is okay, I go to I go. Uh, There is some. Did him. There it is. No. Where is you? I have seen the preview and. As usual, it's the um, I, I, but selfie incoming. No, first of all, cutting the butt selfie. Yeah, it's funny. I'm sitting here in my chair, using my very bad posture, and my back's killing me. It's my own darn fault for sitting badly. And my husband's like, "Well, just go buy yourself another chair." And I said, "Well, yeah, but I want to get the Arozo, and it's about four hundred dollars, and I don't want to spend four hundred. I'll go spend the money." Versus a year ago, when it'd be like, "No, no, we got to save every penny for retirement." And now it's the, I think to some extent, the I almost died. Let's spend the money while we have a chance. Okay, well, but that is so unattractive when I look at it. Mm. But, <laughs> okay, picture. Mm -hmm. I know Photoshop applied promise. <laughs> <laughs> Um, tonight, I don't know if we're going to be doing Draenor Beach Assault, so if anybody hasn't done Draenor Beach Assault and wants to do it, jump into the game and we'll do it with you. Yeah, Federation side, uh, tonight again. Yeah, we can um, go anyway. We did a Federation and a KDF last night, and our team did great on the Federation. 
meh on the KDF. But yeah, but I, we, we would do great if it has uh, as KDF if, if it has been the other way around, I'm pretty sure. Well, I, I was in there with KDF with a less than optimum tune. I took Gornalicious in, and he's not really the big gun yet. Though if I had known I had no traits, I probably would have uh, fixed that before we started. Uh, yeah, traits make a difference. Traits make a difference. Speaking of traits and skills and stuff, Ed, we haven't done the drawing for the uh, Lobby ship slash Infinity T6 ship, and we should do that soon. Yeah. How, um, um, I would suggest, um, Saturday. Well, I'm not here on Saturdays. Oh, no. Next Saturday I'm so, here, but that's Halloween. I don't know how many people are going to be around on Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, okay. Then in that case, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we could do and... it um, a week from Thursday, which is the second anniversary of the Dark Mom Consortium. I'll let all the fleeties know that we're going to pick it that Thursday night. And I will be around on that Saturday, but I actually need to clean the apartment and get the car ready for winter. <laughs> Yeah, and also, um, okay, so it's uh, it would be, look into the calendar, so it would be uh, Thursday 29th? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, then we do it that day. All good. Okay, we will do that. I will let everybody in the fleet know. And meanwhile, I really have to look into. Ooh! Ow, ow, ow. That is a massive bruise. Uh, yes. Yes, um, even my butt self is awesome, man! <laughs> wow, wow. I do not know how I caught it, but, um... Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, if the yellow color around the edge is true, it was actually bigger. So is it is it a bruise or is it a, like a skin thing? Uh, it's a bruise. Okay. Wow. Cause um. Uh, and, and meanwhile, it has reached the colorful. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Face so. Um, all healing, all good, but um, for now it's time to, okay, apply things to my, uh, really. Ah, that way. Okay. And that way. So, BTD fighter, um, I'm good. I'm good. Things have been okay this year. There have been some truly good moments and some really sucky moments. I'm just hoping that the good begins to outweigh the sucky pretty soon. So, n not to compare your butt to my husband's butt, but um, about two months ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, um, the small strong dog managed to wrap the leash when she was out on a walk behind my husband's knees and then took off after a squirrel. And my husband went down hard. And his whole right side looked like that. He hit so hard. But it was a good thing that she did that. Because he was in pain for over a month before he finally realized something was going on. So he went to the doctor thinking he might have broken his hip. And the doctor takes an x-ray. No, it's not broken. But you know, there's something here I don't like. And you know the whole story after that. So thank yeah. goodness she did that or he might never have gotten diagnosed. Yeah, and for, for now, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, it, find, it, it turned out to be... Um, yeah, um, it, it's never good to be um, 
to, to, to get uh, to, to get something to get an issue diagnosed. But now, um, all in all, it came out good. Yep. Uh, yep. As he told. If, if he's being good, he's taking his pills when I'm not there. And you know, there are so many treatments for this. He's on like the the first one you do, and then there's at least nine more after it, that before they even consider anything really major. So holy moly, there are options. You know, where when he was first diagnosed with cancer 30 years ago, it was almost a death sentence. And these days, it's more like, nope, we got a new treatment for that. Oh, we got a new one for that. Hey, we're trying out this one. So he's done amazingly well, and medicine has been keeping ahead of him. So now we just got to keep the faith, hope they find more cures for other cancers, or at least treatments. Yeah. What is it with the tardigrades? People have got all their tardigrades running around here in DS9. Uh, maybe someone has announced tardigrade day. <laughs> that would tardigrade be Tardigrade Tuesday. Ah, Ed, that's brilliant. <laughs> I love it. That would be fun. We do a tardigrade Tuesday and do a whole bunch of uh, discovery things. Like, uh, what's the Alachi one? Uh, Mycelial Realm, things like that. Good morning, Lord Sepulcher. Lord Sepulcher says good morning to you too, Ed. Good morning, good morning. I'm. So... It, it, to, to, even that sounds um, um, off tone, even to me, somehow. <laughs> hey, BTD Fighter, my husband built me my big computer at the mo moment. The only thing I'm regretting is it's a little too small on the. Uh, hard drive, but I've got an external, so that works. And then my old one, which I haven't used in a while and probably should take out and use, actually has got maximum uh, storage and processing, but some of the connections are a little weird, so I'd almost have to rebuild it. But I might do that when I've got some time. I'm glad you got some sleep last night. I slept very well, but I didn't go to bed till almost 11, so that makes for a very short night. Because I stupidly Forgot to finish up my Zenkethi last night and had to get up, do the two synth waves, and then try and finish up the Zenkethi kills by 6 a.m. And I finished them at 5.59.40. So, got it done with 20 seconds to spare. So you'll just... Okay, let's rest. Okay. Ah. Let's see where we are. We finished Impossibility of Reason last night. We have Secrets, and then we've got the equivalent of uh, Defense of Starbase 1. Don't forget, folks, that this Saturday, Ed's running uh, uh, KDF Sims, so if you need to get anything for your colony. And speaking of that, Ed, I did go ahead and put in some new projects for the colony world. Um, so if you are in the fleet, I've got two projects open that need fleet marks. I killed one off last night, so that's done. Ooh, it actually needs provisions, too. Hmm. Give me a second here. I think I've got somebody. Yeah, tell me about the heritage of your tune, Lord Sepulchre.
After doing all of the uh, Sims with you, Ed, I had so many provisions sitting in my bank. So I just threw them in finally. Hey, Lord Sepulchre, did you know that there is a, uh, the Klingon martial art with the Batleth? Somebody went ahead and started codifying movement structures and philosophy, so it's actually, somebody's trying to develop it into a proper martial art. It's very interesting. Being a bit of a martial artist myself. And I can't remember the name of it. I should drift over to my sons and borrow it this afternoon. But it's very much along the same lines as, um, oh God, what's the classic martial arts book? Not The Art of War. Um, not The Tao. No goodness, I can't remember the name of the book. But there's a few good books about martial arts philosophies. The problem with writing a book about martial arts techniques is no matter how good your drawings are, it's very hard to follow. And it's never the same as training in person. One of these days, they'll let us go train in person again. So what are you doing, Ed? I can hear you going clickety-clickety. Yes, um, I just uh, saved the configuration of the uh, uh, Dark Vessel Black Star. Ooh. Yeah, the, um, the fleet edition of, uh, yeah. <clears throat> and now at uh, this moment I'm using, but that I, I'm pretty sure that will be Okay, so far that's Ooh, I need to go to the tailor. <laughs> Okay, so Lord Sepulchre, I just put it in there, but if you train in the bow, which is the long staff or the quarter staff, it would translate well to the batleth, providing you use what's called a short reach technique, which is your hands are about one third to, I just saw you run by Ed, one third, two third along the uh, weapon. The other thing is um, when you are doing that style, the more modern styles have got right hand up, left hand down, which works better with the batleth versus the old school styles, which are both hands down. And somebody put it, right hand drives, left hand powers. And that would work very well. And if you're left handed, obviously you could switch that around. But that would translate nicely. Um, if you do any sword work, it would also help with some of the actual cutting techniques, which are um, ellipses 
or parabolas where you're looking at an arcing motion versus a stabbing motion. So, um, oh God, what's the name of the style? There is a modern style of sword work. Um, yeah, and I should have it and I don't remember it. That would be in that same flavor, but the hand positioning's a little awkward. So maybe even old school, uh, like uh, did, 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 did. Oh, good. The art of drawing. It, it's an Eido, but it's it's a drawing art, which would definitely help in terms of learning the proper arcing techniques. So many people study katana and they think it's just slashing, but it's actually circular motions. As you study the structure of the sword and you understand the underlying way that it's built, it helps you understand why the sword works the way it does and you can't just poke and slash at people. Not that poking and slashing isn't effective. So when people first start learning to play with swords, they have a tendency to raise their hands up over their head so they can strike down, not realizing that during that whole time their abdomen, chest, head, and arms are exposed for a quick cut. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's a one-time mistake. <laughs> so they don't live to tell how bad they <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly it. <clears throat> Yes, as you say, Lord Sepulchre, when one seeks knowledge, the quest is never-ending. Quite true. I really enjoy sword work, though. I trained briefly with a 8th uh, degree master from the East Coast, and she would come to our camps every year until two years ago or three years ago and teach us Yaido, which I really enjoyed. And then I found the pleasure of the Joe, which is a 42 inch long stick. Somebody said it's a bow that got broken and so they still learn to play with it. And Joe is not just in like Taekwondo, but it's used a lot in Hapkido. And it's one of the few weapons we play with in Hapkido. But you use it a lot as a lever. If you've seen Pacific Rim, the fight that they do in the uh, Middle sequence with, um, oh gosh, Raleigh and uh, whatever her name is, Mako, Mako Mori, is a bow fight. So you use it more for leverage and positioning, but it's not a distance weapon like a katana is. Speaking of that, I've got to figure out what to do with all my swords. Probably should give them all to Goodwill, just because this would be the time of year when people would want swords for costumes. And I have a feeling I'm never going to teach sword again. Yeah, Peckram is one of the sexy movies out there. I mean, it's got everything you need for a good romance. It's got giant robots. It's got kaijus, it's got weapons, it's got fights. It's got good music, yeah. Everything you could possibly want. As for Mechleth, though, that... Yeah, you might have to develop your own martial art for it. Because it's really not like fighting with knives. It's too long for that. It's too short for katana. The inner edge of it, maybe it kind of translates to sangnat, hand scythes. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I've got one of those. Got a batleth, got throwing knives. I think I did not pick up, yeah, I didn't pick up the mechleth. Why do I have that? I 
I have saved some useless weapons. Why have I saved useless weapons? Oh, oh probably because I needed a Polaron weapon for some. Yeah, so, one of those uh, decisions. Google. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I probably needed to get an Endeavor one day. That's interesting. And stuff complete. Yay. She's ready to fly. Yay. Uh, Lord Zepker has a question for you, and Ed, if he can answer it. So this one's for you, Ed. What's the question? Uh, going to three. Okay. Twitch, 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 Dark Mom Consortium. Ooh, I got to change our uh, goals here since who knows if there's going to be a convention next year. We're waiting to find out. An official Star Trek convention. The unofficial one is definitely happening. It's a week later. It's at the Rio. It's by the same company, Creation Entertainment. But I think we're going to wait to find out if there's an official convention. Otherwise, we might just go. Just for fun. I know. It's a concept. Just going to a convention for fun. <laughs> okay. And now I can read the chat. Yay. Kapla. Uh, my message is the first I can read. Okay. Uh, Lord Sepulcher has not asked his question. Okay. Can either of you explain to me how the name Kyushu is considered blasphemous? Kyushu? Um, no idea. I'm taking a look at it. Kyushu is a place... Doesn't refer to a god. It's an island. Yeah, it is. Where is it Whoever considered? Has problems uh, with that uh, name probably also has other problems. That could be. Yeah, who's who's saying that it's? Uh... Yeah, really, to have something blasphemy, it has to be. Yeah. Naming ships after places is fairly innocuate, innocuous. So for something to be blasphemy, it would have to be considered against a religion. Yeah, Duffy, I heard about the new bundle tomorrow because I have the Ed Alert on today. Some people have red alerts. We have Ed Alerts here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, even the Urban Dictionary fails to make something horrible of it. Yeah, is there anything about it? Um, if you... Uh, there are different, uh, d different words, but these are different words. Not spelled the same way, more letters, less letters, so it's... Um, um, okay, if you omit the first Y, so you get to Kushu, mm -hmm. that essentially is... Um, yes... Um, 
weaponized fart. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a far cry from Kyushu. And, um, no, even the Urban Dictionary refers to Kyushu as one of the four main islands in Japan. It is, yeah. So, even our source for, um, how can I insult people by the word hat trick? Um, yeah. <clears throat> no, it's not blasphemous. Yeah, I. I sh- at most, you know, maybe somebody's offended by it, but blasphemy, like I said, it's got to be against God. And the Japanese, while they have a very intricate system of gods, also don't, you know, really, not most of them don't go into it at that level. And again, it's the name of an island. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. Yeah, about the closest you might come, though, is Kush or Kushu being part of southern Egypt in pre-biblical times, so maybe, but it's not Kyushu. And most people just call it the Kush. What? Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, most appropriate response would be, shut up and go away. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a great response to everything. And, uh, by the way, Captain Cuddles, um, yeah, oh, okay, wrong account. <laughs> Do we have time for a quick mission? Um, if it's a, a, a quick mission, I, I have plenty of time. It's, uh, you, you have to deal yes, with I, time I, I'm friends, the time crunch uh, person here. Um, let's see, the next one up is Secrets. I don't know what that one is. Investigate a Federation science station that recently went out of contact. Uh, episode. Um, actually, I do not recall at all what it's about, so I would give it a try. Okay. I think uh, from your time frame that we will be at least 15 minutes, maybe even 20. I can just do 20, so why don't we get our butts in gear here? And Yeah. Ractagino Roaster ready to roast Ractaginos. All right, let me go ahead and get this one queued up here. Okie dokie. I'm ready to rock and roll. And launching. Let's see. The arrival of host Mokai forces the from the past. Blah 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 blah. Oh, facing Jaula in battle is what it says. It's a sim. Hardly. Okay. Uh, whatever it is, um, I hit the begin button. Okay, I accept. I can inquire of my Japanese history experts, but considering that most of their ships are named after Japanese places, people, things, and they do it without remorse or repentance, I suspect Kyushu is just fine. Yeah. And if somebody tells you it's blasphemous, ask them to explain. Ooh, I didn't get kicked. How sweet. (laughs) Always amazing. All right, let us do this thing. Uh, oh, that thing is um, definitely, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Poor doctor is a little bit panicked. And now, ah, uh, um, I recall it when. Oh, okay. Now, uh, see the nice animation when I do a repair thing here. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And. Yeah, that's very nice. Details. I love those little yeah. bits like that. Yeah. Voila. Okay. And a little bit of Klingon uh, death here. Or Klingons. Ding, 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 
Beat the Klingons! Exclamation point! Woo! Too Sweet Trekkie isn't going to go for the new bundle, but I, I, I think I'm going to get it for this account. I can go ahead with the Voth ship for my KDF, and I can get the other one for the other guys. That'll work out nicely. Survive until the reinforcements arrive. Um, okay, if you insist. Okay, we will survive until the Klingon reinforcements arrive. To defeat the Klingon <laughs> reinforcements. Well, in theory, I need to get some disruptor damage, but hmm, I'll have to uh... do more for that later. Is that your Kobe Hashimaru that's out there? Yeah. Beaming over to the Glen next. I like the Kyoto, especially if you're naming it after the Kyoto Accords. That would be kind of nice. And accepting. Wow, and it didn't kick me. Yay! Always good. Neither have I. Thank you. I'll have to finish killing these guys, then I'll cuddle. Where's my rainbow? Mine's right there. I just gotta wait for him to wake up. Come on, Trebe. There we go. Cuddling. <laughs> um, Zompek lightning. Not as impressive as the, bo as the ball lightning, but... <sighs> It still works. Yeah. I might de decide to replace it one day, but for now it just served me well. Oh, Kling. Sonpec Lightning is a lovely thing. Turbo lift to the bridge. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Ah, almost clinging your red alert lightning. Lighting. Can you do more red alert lighting on Federation ships? Just because it now feels so. I feel at home here. <laughs> I'll talk to the captain. Chicken with straw. There's straw. Let us get to work. There's a panel over there. I'll go get that panel. Oh, uh, there. Okay. It was in my back. Mm-hmm. Uh, there should be... Oh, do, 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 powerful. I see. I okay. have one. Oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> it's a good thing there's a chair, though, so you can stand up on it. And it's over here. I got that one. New power-up. Ed Alert's going to be a thing, you know. Ooh, we should put in a no new show that you can host the Ed Alert. No 
flanking my bro, I shoot you. <laughs> I shoot you fair and square. Ooh, we can bite from a distance. That's fun. Got everybody down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Left flank. Ball lightning. <laughs> crispy Klingons. How do you like your Klingons? Extra crispy. Yeah. That was it? I'm not impressed. Uh, and more <gasps> clonging. Uh, clonging, yes. <laughs> they have been clonged. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this yeah. one, yeah. talking to him. We have to defend him for 30 seconds. If I remember right, lock him down here. So let's do that. I love that. Brattle. Check on Strahl. Is that Strahl down there? Here is. There he is, okay. here. Great, put my ambush turrets up here. Ugh. Too late for any fun. Gosh darn it. Turbo lift shuttle bay. Crispy Klingon with a side of fries and a salad. Hi, Wolfie. Okay. Um, I was a little bit uh, I, yeah, I accept. Okay. I accept too. Um, the Kadia Fleet Colony finishing was unimpressive. You know, it just magically clicks over. It's 10.15. Not too many people around. So it's like, ooh, tier 5. So we'll have a proper party coming up next Thursday, I believe. And we will do our drawing for the ship. Dum, dum, dum. Right. Oops, more. You guys are just being pesky. Pesky Klingons. The problem with doing a uh, party when something converts over to, you know, the tier five, is that we think of the timing when we start the project, not that if it's going to run out in some weird time, it's going to convert at midnight or two in the morning. Yeah. Tardigrades can't affect corn. <laughs> no.
Nothing wrong with the name Blackhawk. Oh, the stop the Klingons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, I like it. They've got a shattered window here. And ball lightning. Yum, dum, dum. We've seen this position before. Where's Stroll? Ah, there he is. Yeah, after the fight. Oh, I was busy. Um, well, I have no problems. Uh, so we got all the fame, all the loot and stuff. That's, and, that's true. And also no discussion. Well, he was just in my line of fire when I started <laughs> to go for full automatic. <laughs> Time to do your tax returns. <laughs> Quite so. Um, let's see. I have a Gorn engineer who I love. But a Gorn tech would be fun. I don't see Gorn science officers, but if you know, if you want to have some fun. Um, I, you, uh, I, uh, I see Gorn, um, uh, Gorn tactician would be awesome close combat fighters, oh, by yeah. the way. Yes, yes. Uh, intense play, but hell, you are gone. You can... Oh, you still are stuck. Uh, yeah, see, it um... timed out for me again. What a surprise. I'm going to move over to the opposite wall, which is going to have some drawbacks, but it's, I can do a hardwire connection then. All right, defeat Klingon reinforcements. Come on, Klingon reinforcements. Okay. Stika is a good ship. Oh, that was perfect. Perfect timing, Ed. Ta-da! Ta-da! Yeah, Gorntak melee. Pechka's right. All right. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and take my prizes out of here. What did I get? Oh, stuff. But I'll take the dilithium. That's an old one, then. Okay, it's 7.30. I need to run off to work, so everyone have a great day. Ed, as always, thank you so much. Really appreciate you being here. He <laughs> has been fun. It has. has been nice, and stay awesome. Bye. Bye.